Hi, I'm Michael Dragalis with Confluent, and in this module, we're going to be looking at how streaming joins work in KSQL DB. Joins are an essential ingredient in stream processing. When you have many independent streams of data, it's almost certainly the case that you'll want to combine them. But how do you do that when the data is both in motion and at rest? KSQL DB helps you join streams to streams, streams to tables, and tables to tables. In this module, we'll look at stream table joins and table table joins. The first join that we're going to look at is a stream table join. In this depiction, we'll see just the change log for the table. It's just easier to read since it takes up less space. Here I have an inner join. Just like a SQL database, an inner join will fire when both the left and the right side of the expression match. When the persistent query runs, it pulls in rows as usual. But how does KSQL DB choose which row to pull in next? It selects the row across all partitions with the earliest timestamp. The lowest timestamp is called stream time. A stream table join keeps just one internal buffer, one for the table. When a row from a table is read, it's populated into that internal buffer to be joined against. That is why the row fades away in this animation. When a row for the stream is read, it tries to match against the buffer. If there's a match, the join fires and it produces a new row. If it doesn't match, the row is dropped. Note that updates to the table don't cause the join to fire. There's no buffer for the stream since the stream is of an infinite size. Next, let's look at the same join, but now with a left outer clause. A left outer clause will always fire a join on the stream side. You can see how whenever a record shows up on the stream side, it's always passed through. If there was no match in the table, the resulting row simply has a null column. Now, if you're joining against a table of reference data, it's common to preload that data to make sure that the timestamps of the table side are always smaller than that of the stream side. That effectively makes KSQL DB load a batch of data once at the start, which is useful if the join data is known ahead of time and probably won't change very much. Lastly, let's look at table table joins. Here again, this is an inner join. A table table join has two buffers, one for each table. What's unique about a table table join is that it fires when there's an update on either side of the expression. By contrast to a stream table join, a table table join produces a table, not a stream. So that's stream table joins and table table joins in KSQL DB.